The John Wick movies may have tried to portray the character as an anti-hero, but today on Screen Rant, we'll delve into why one scene proves that he is really the villain. The first John Wick film does a remarkable job of establishing sympathy for the titular character, played by Keanu Reeves. It's hard not to feel for him when he's portrayed as a grieving husband who just wants to go for a drive with his pup. As the film progresses and Wick's body count rises, it becomes more and more evident that the character is drifting away from the traditional archetype of a hero. Long before he loses sight of his initial motivations, one intense scene in John Wick 1 gives a glimpse of who he truly is. Your son took that from me. Stole that from me. Killed that from me. When Wick destroys Vigo's cash in the church before Vigo hits him with a car and captures him, Vigo tries to claim that Wick could have let it all go and moved on. Wick's chilling reply. I can hand over his son or die screaming alongside him. Showcases just how unhinged and relentless John Wick can be. His actions may be driven by a sense of righteous anger, but he becomes so obsessed with revenge that he loses sight of his own moral compass. Furthermore, his desire to hurt Vigo, who initially wasn't trying to mess with him, shows his villainous nature. John Wick gradually becomes a mirror image of the people he initially set out to punish. Some may deserve it, sure, but Wick is also indirectly responsible for the loss of many innocent lives. He stops at nothing, and unlike others, he has nothing to lose. For more insights, stay tuned to Movie Recap Pro. Thanks for watching.